and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then please subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Today for review, I have the Kaito KA1103. It's an FM stereo, shortwave, medium wave, and long wave receiver, and it has single sideband ability. I purchased this radio for a total of $89, shipped from Amazon, and here's the box. Ooh, I love that picture. Sweet. Got some information there. Kaido. Some stuff on the sides. Pretty basic. Comes in silver and black. Good to know. On the back here, it looks like we have more information. You guys can pause and read. Pause and read. Picture. All right, came with a lot of stuff, so let's go over what came with. So in the box, we get ourselves some batteries. Four of them because it takes four double A's. And these are looks like basic rechargeables, 1300 milliamp hours. I'm using some Loop Pros in mine right now, but these will be good as backup. Nice to get free batteries. Uh, here where they get a nice little bag to put your radio in. Kind of a velvety type style of the drawstring. We get some other stuff here. Ooh. So we get a wire. This wire looks pretty long. I didn't take it out and measure it, but guessing like 25 feet it has the jack to plug in the radio nice pair of headphones pretty simple fare looks like no foam or rubber ends just basic basic headphones all right and then which i thought was a nice touch most radio companies make you buy these separate is a power supply you can use this to run the radio you can also use this to charge the batteries and nickel metal hydrides in the radio, which is really nice. And this feels like a linear supply. It's very heavy, so this shouldn't produce any noise. There you go. If you want to read that, 8 volt, 200 milliamp hour. Okay. And I believe most of that, you got a little carton where everything came in. And then there's some paperwork. Everybody loves paperwork. Yeah. Kaito, quality radio maker. You guys have seen these before. Registration guide, send it in, get your warranty. Next we have the quick operation guide. This is really handy because this is not traditional radio for sure. There are a lot of different ways that this radio works. It's definitely a learning curve attached to this radio. So we'll go over some of that learning curve together. All right, and then we got our invaluable operation manual in English. Thank you for having this because without this I'd be lost with this radio. To be honest, definitely lost without this. Um, so yeah, go through all of it, read it carefully. Yeah, there's a lot to do with this radio. So let's go to the back real quick. You guys who want to know about the band information, there you go. FM, 76 to 108 AM, 150 to, yeah, 29.9 megahertz. It's pretty awesome. There's band scale. All right, and some information here. Speaker, they're saying 77 millimeter. I measure about two inches, and that measures close to three inches, so I don't know which side the speaker is because three inches kind of extends past the radio's grill so don't know if that's a misprint or not but we're gonna we're gonna say two two and a half inch speaker okay shows reception and pretty basic stuff so we'll go over the radio together and the best part the radio let me grab that here we are okay i'm gonna bring this down as we get a little closer look there we go all right so let's go over some dimensions real quick so this radio measures in at six and five eighths of an inch wide, a height of four inches, and a depth of one and an eighth inch. Okay, so for size comparison, I brought a couple radios out and we'll put a CC pocket next to it, which everybody has seen. And then I have a Texan PL380 that we can put there. So you have an idea for size reference. And I believe the Skywave is about this size if you're wondering what the Skywave is. Okay, there we are. And of course we got Iron Man. Give you an idea for size reference with the cards. All right. Cool, so let's go over some features of the radio. It has quite a few. On the left-hand side, we have a antenna jack, a sensitivity, local and DX switch, headphone jack, tested, sounds really good in FM stereo. It's good on AM and shortwave, it's just at low levels, you will hear like a buzzing sound that the radio produces. 
Uh, so if you love low level listening, you're not going to be happy with the headphone jack. Just letting you know. But at normal levels or higher levels, you'll be rocking out with no problem. There's your DC input, 8 volts. Okay. Front of the radio, we have three little buttons, and you use these quite often. They made them really tiny. These should have been much bigger and much easier to handle. Uh, yeah, because to change your volume, you need to hit a button. There's no volume knob. So first button here is your memory and frequency mode button. Doubles as your alarm one function. Next one, you have your store for your memories. Doubles as your alarm two function, which you activate with the power off. And of course, your volume button that you have to use to change the volume with this radio. And it functions as your charging start when you're charging the radio. Here we have single sideband. This has 268 memories. Here's your speaker grill. And like I said, I, I'm just a little interested in how big this speaker is because at two and a half inches that's your cross this way you know they're saying that it's 77 millimeters which would be about three inches so I don't know unless it's like an oval speaker you know what I mean so I think I think it's like a two and a quarter inch speaker probably give you an idea all right and let's go back to the front this is Kaido at the bottom FM stereo all right Great Kaido over here, it's raised, kind of neat. Here we have a large LCD panel showing the clock right now. Frequency shows there also. Signal strength will pop up. This is your, you can see your bands there, FM, medium wave, and the different short wave bands going across. Okay, and then there's like a little digital pointer that comes up, goes down when we have the radio on. You'll see that numeric uh, entry, one through zero. You use this to change frequency, to change volume, different presets. Uh, we have power on off buttons, X to sleep function, reset hole, we have lock function, time set, delete function for your memories, single sideband mode button, doubles as your stereo mono mode in FM, and then we have band up and down on your scanning and changing bands, and of course scanning the FM and AM bands shown there. Okay, right hand side of the radio we have the tuning wheel. Um, it's okay, I I don't like it because on top it's okay, but on the bottom, it's like right at the edge where you could bump it. So if you're not using a stand and you have this laying down, like say in bed and the pillow, and you move it, you just tuned your radio if you don't have it locked. So yeah, it's a hassle. That's one design feature I don't like about this tuning knob. Uh, and also that it, there's only one mode, fine tuning. So, all right, next we have the narrow wide filter, which is four kilohertz, six kilohertz uh, bandwidth on the AM shortwave and long wave. In the bottom there it says uh, news, music, that's for your FM. Here we have the fine tuning knob for your single sideband mode, which you definitely use a lot. <laughs> and this radio excels at that, by the way. A light on off feature, so you can turn the light on and off. Uh, that runs pretty good. And then we have our line out uh, jack, which is really cool for recording. Okay, top of the radio, you'll see there's an antenna Pivots 360, extends out to three feet. Yeah, it's great for reception. I love it. We got a wrist strap. You guys didn't see that. Yeah, wrist strap. Yay. Okay, on the back, we got a kickstand, which you'll definitely want to use in this radio when you're doing shortwave cruising. And then we have this like indented area with some vented spots. Must be for gripping the radio. And then behind here is your four AA batteries. Warning don't charge. Non rechargeables. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and turn the radio on, do a basic uh, audio, show you how the volume works, and uh, yeah, give you some basic information. And then later on, we'll probably do a video of a full band scan, so don't bore you to death. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Let's see what it sounds like. One in play, so we're on AM band, medium wave, 670 kilohertz. Got your signal strength indicator there. Your volume. There's your kind of indicator bar. So as you tune, you should jump up there, see a jump. So we can go to strong station, here we go. So when you tune it, it soft mutes, and then it kind of does a hard mute before it comes in clear. So it's just interesting. And this is a dust magnet, this big old LCD screen. All right, so that gives you an idea. Tuning's pretty basic. This is a fine tuning knob. 
There's no way to set it to fast by tens. It only goes by ones. But you can spin it fast and really move it. You know, if you have to, you can one finger there and just kind of spin it really quick. Uh, let's take up to a thousand. Should be some uh, sports radio there. And then, there you go, you heard it. See, it takes a while for it to kick uh, and change the volume. This is the fun part. There's no volume knob, right? I thought this was a volume knob, but that's that fine tuning mode. So, it does nothing for volume. So, you have to hit this, this flash, just so quickly adjust your volume. If you don't, it goes into tuning mode. So, yeah, it's not fantastic at all. You also change the volume down here by entering a number and hitting the volume, and it changes it. Yay! <laughs> if you notice, I got the backlight on, so it runs for 15 seconds. It's pretty nice. All the keys light up, which is really neat in the dark. Even these little, they're pretty dim, but they light up too. So, yeah, it's a good feature. I like that. On this radio, it makes it real nice. So let's go ahead and go to the FM band. And I, let's see, you know what? One more thing. Show you the bandwidth. There's the high. Or the six, and this is four kilohertz. Turn this up. Take us through um, the night two years ago, um, the, the, the title game night, what you were doing, what you were thinking, where you were exactly. And, um, yeah, I was on the bench. Okay, and there's your battery level indicator too. Press and hold. Tells you how strong your batteries are also. Okay, so let's go ahead and extend the antenna. Not fully because it will hit everything in the room. So let's go ahead and go to FM. So to change the bands, you hit these two buttons. So band down. Goes to FM. Band up goes back and then goes to your shortwave bands. See that there? Pretty neat. Okay, so we'll go back to FM and I'll give you an audio test. Set this down. Jam it out. That gives you uh, the fun of bumping the volume when you're trying to tune. It's just it's a headache. <laughs> I'd be better just to hit the numbers, you know, like 05 volume, and don't touch the radio. Wait for it to stop blinking. <laughs> so, yeah, it gives you an idea of the audio quality. I need them. It's really good, um, very clear. I like it. So, let's go ahead and. Uh, Explore the shortwave because I mean reception wise the FM is pretty good at we can show you here 
Now it's going to browse. But you can always stop the browse by hitting the button again. Looks the same way on the AM and the shortwave. Let's go to shortwave. Maybe we can hear some guys talking tonight. I'm going to set this down. And I'm going to try to extend this a little bit more. And I'm going to hook a wire to it. And see if we can get somebody talking tonight. Okay. So we'll go ahead and scan the band by doing this, holding this down. It's going to scan just like the AM and FM. It'll stop, pause for a bit, so you better be ready to stop it. I mean, I heard somebody talking once. I'm like, whoa, and I, I missed it, so I had to, like, try to backtrack it. It's the only thing about this browsing feature. So, yeah, I was hearing chatter earlier on this band. Don't know if I'll find anything down here. So let's just, uh, okay, here we go. Okay. I'm not sure if this could be copyright. That'd be funny if it was. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I'm loading this radio. It's, it's got good reception on the shortwave, which is really good. It's making me really happy. Just cool what it's getting and receiving. So, all right, let's go ahead and stop this. We'll go a band over. Time signal. So we can find anything on this band. And then we'll probably wrap it up. Yeah, no, it has uh, 268 presets, which is nice. Um, two alarms we touched on. Uh, the two alarms are really good because you can wake up to the preset with a certain volume, which I think is really nice. Uh, so having dual alarms is a really cool feature. It also has a 99 minute sleep timer where you can adjust 1 to 99 minutes. So you can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is nice. They let you do that. Um, that'd be neat to tell you about the sleep function. What else do I like? Uh, I, there's a few other things that I've been studying. I mean, it's, it's a new radio to me, so there's a lot of things I'm discovering. Single sideband works really well on this radio. Um, so I've been hearing a lot of cool uh, chatting. Oops. Let's just go up one more band and see if we have anybody up here. Yeah, I'm just looking for a ham radio operator. That'd be cool. Last night I found one. I found four guys talking. And uh, they were talking about, like, you know, their antennas. I think that's a pretty common thing for ham guys to talk about. And then uh, the second thing, they started getting into politics, which was great. You know, everybody has an opinion. And then, and then all of a sudden they started talking about drapes. <laughs> Everybody had an opinion on drapes, like what kind of drapes to buy. And I'm like, what is this? Is this a joke or something? It wasn't April Fool's, so I, I don't know. It was pretty funny, though. <laughs> Made me laugh. So, all right. So, say you found a single side, you just hit your single side band to activate it. And then you would tune it with that, that wheel there. To try to get an accurate. So. Um, okay. So, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and turn the radio off. Now, when I turn the radio off, it does make a noise. Like a little buzzing sound as it turns off. Again, nothing to do with the light being on. It's about, uh, I think, something to do with the internal processor. So, alright. 
I know they made two versions of this radio, the DSP, which is this one, then they had the PLL, which I think was the one everybody wants. Um, this isn't bad. I actually enjoy the way this locks on to a shortwave signal. Uh, like my other radios, they fade a lot. This thing really keeps from fading, and it makes for more enjoyable experience on the shortwave. So here I am, already giving final thoughts. Final thoughts <laughs> on the Kaido uh, K1103. For 90 bucks, you get a capable shortwave radio with single sideband. That is the number one thing about this radio uh, that makes it cool. Nice speaker, great audio quality. Another great feature I like about this radio. Line level out for recording. You know, that is a big bonus. Um, and I really enjoy having that uh, ability there. Uh, of course, having the external antenna. Um, I don't have any big antennas, but I can cut my wires up to get a little extra reception. But I'll be honest with you, this three foot whip, <laughs> it, it performs. I mean, it's amazing. It's just incredible. Uh, let's see what else uh, do I like about the radio. Um, I like the backlighting, which is really nice. I don't know if this real estate's used well. Um, they could have done a lot different display, made it smaller, made these buttons bigger. I guess they were just trying to get away from the Texan looking radio, you know, they didn't want it looking like this, so they went with this. I mean, this would have been more functional. I would have loved this radio if it looked like this, you know, smaller window and all your numeric keypad like that. This just is more, this is just an easier to use radio. But with that said, though, this is a single sideband. Amazing listening to the ham radio operators. And then when I found the Coast Guard uh, broadcast for the weather on the Atlantic side, that was pretty cool. And I, you have to have upper sideband to hear that. So that was neat that I could do that with this little radio. You know, and it wasn't, it's under 100 bucks. So you know, got to think of that. FM stereo sounds really good. FM reception is amazing because DSP and a three foot antenna. I mean, you can't go wrong. Uh, so that's, that's the best there. What I don't like. Uh, let's see what I don't like about it. Volume button this is just a crappy way of doing the volume. I wish it had a separate volume control. This is just a hassle. Number one, I, I don't like it. Uh, the tuning wheel, again, extends past the bottom, easily bumped. Another thing I don't like. Um, but again, I'm going to use this radio mainly like this, so that's not going to be a problem. And I'll have the antenna up doing shortwave. This will probably be my main shortwave radio. Now I love it. I mean, I, I own a Skywave, and I own a Skywave SSB, but this is just, I don't know, something about this radio with the tuning. I just, I enjoy tuning this radio with the single sideband more so for some reason. It's great. And maybe it's a reception, too. It just uh, got that huge antenna. It just really pulls those stations in. Uh, so, yeah, if you're looking for an inexpensive single sideband receiver, has a little bit of a learning curve, has a little bit of some odd nuances with, the, with this longer you know, one through zero numeric keypad and doing the volume entry. You know, if you get over that, you'll be good. And I never really talked, got into preset modes because pretty much presets are pretty basic. You know, you have 268 of them. 100 are accessible through here. 100, the extra 168, they call them hidden. They're stored on a hexadecimal format, which is really odd. You can't access them directly through this. You have to access them through the knob. Uh, just something to know. And I'll probably touch on that in the band scan. I'll show you how to use the memories. So, so this radio, it gets a, a buy for me if you need single sideband under 100 bucks. Uh, I mean, I know there's the other one, the longer Texans uh, 365, the County Com. I don't know what the model number is, but it's that real narrow one, kind of hard to hold on to. This is more your tabletop variety. Um, I would probably pick this one for single sideband, short wave listening. Uh, is my go-to because uh, I just I love this. I mean, I love the love how it handles that. Number one, this is what you go for. <laughs> uh, so yeah. With that said, uh, if you love the video, big thumbs up. If you love the radio, thumbs up. If you don't love the radio, give it a thumbs up anyway. And you know, you could always give a review and say you don't like it somewhere else. <laughs> uh, but no, comment below about what you think about the Kaido 1103. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Do the bell icon so you don't miss a video. I put one on every night, and uh, you don't want to miss any of this stuff. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.